Hey everyone, it's Jenny W again. I am back with uh, another video. This one here though is about the Canon Ivy printer and I'm going to print again the same pictures that I did with the uh, sprocket. I no longer have the sprocket. Um, unlike other YouTubers or something like that, I don't get stuff free. Um, I have to pay for it out of pocket. I can't afford to go out and buy like two printers at the same time. So I returned the sprocket and ended up getting the Ivy just to see what it's going to look like. Um, but in my previous video, you remember I printed out these two pictures. This one is from the sprocket. You can tell. Well, I mean, this is the sprocket with the HP paper. And this is from the sprocket with the Canon paper. Now I posted on my Facebook, um, you know, and Instagram asking people which one they thought looked best. They all picked the HP um, sprocket paper and they said that this one looked kind of yellowish, which it does look yellowish. This one here looks more uh, sharp and just realistic. And this one here kind of has like a yellowish orangey tint on the rabbit and then the, the green and stuff and there's a lot of yellow right in this corner too. Um, so I have the Ivy. Um, I've already connected it to my phone and everything and I actually already printed out one picture using the Canon paper on it. And if I can get it all out of here. There's, uh, you see, I got the Ivy. And this here's the little blue barcode. <clears throat> so Let's see here. I printed out the picture. I just got to find it. Oh, here it is. This here is the ivy again, by the way. I got the mint color. But this is the picture that the ivy printed out. Okay, I can see a difference. I actually can see a difference. I don't know if you can or not, but with this lighting and stuff. But I'm sorry for the glare. I'm trying to get rid of it. This is from the sprocket on the HP paper. This is from the sprocket with the Canon Ivy paper. So the Canon Ivy paper in the sprocket definitely has like a yellowish tint. Um, this one here though from the Ivy using the Ivy paper. Um, I mean it... The bunny doesn't look as like... You can tell this kind of has like a pinkish tint to it. These don't look as yellow looking. The succulent plant doesn't look as yellow looking as it does in this one. And then this actually looks more blue, like it should. So, hmm, really, I mean, I don't know. This one here kind of looks better. It looks a little bit better. I'll leave it up to you and maybe try to get a little closer here. But you can definitely see the color difference in all three pictures. Alright, so now that I did these two and I printed out one with the Canon paper, I am going to um, print out, use the IV again, print out the same photo but use the HP paper. Um, the IV. This is the mint color. It's a lot thinner, and I do actually have a comparison picture of the sprocket and the can Canon Ivy before I uh, went through with the uh, return and everything. I took a picture of them comparing the sizes and stuff at work, and uh, I can post that on my Instagram. You can follow me there. I think it's um, Jen's Resin Things, or it might be Jenny W. I'll have to post the link in the com the link in the comments. But I'm gonna turn on the turn on the ivy. And you can see it, the lights on. It's kind of simple, and it's not um, like the sprocket. Sorry, I've got plants everywhere, so like stuff is getting on it. Okay, so it's not like the. Uh, sprocket to where it has the magnetic 
um, closure on it. This one here, you actually see this arrow, you have to actually kind of pull up. It's made like the odor sprocket where you pull up on it and then lift. And then I'm going to, oh my gosh, look at that. That's from my, this is actually on my grandmother's cedar chest. Like, and my cat gets up here and sets and everything and it's just not that great. I'm going to again load the blue Canon barcode down in there. And then I have some HP paper. And make sure it's all the right direction. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this back on it. So you're going to lay it down just like that and then pull it forward. Sorry for all the noise. They're getting school clothes ready for tomorrow and everything. Okay, so again, I've got this picture ready to be pulled up and everything. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the print icon. If it'll do it. There we go. And it moved itself to the print queue. And I might do a video comparing the apps and stuff, but for the Canon IB and then the Sprocket, I might do a uh, comparison video, like on the apps. And this is printing. You see the blue barcode coming out. I think this is a, just a little bit faster than the sprocket. I have pets in my home, so this is, like, the hair and stuff is crazy. Okay, there's that. Sounds a little louder when it processes. I always recommend keeping these. For whatever printer that you have, keep a few of them on hand just in case you want to use different paper like this. Now one thing I notice about this picture, and I don't know if you can tell it or not, but there is a lot of yellowish brightness on this corner here, which might be because of the sun shining in. Okay. All right, let's take a look, see if we can tell a difference. Whoop, my belly's growling. Mm. Again, you can just kind of see like a yellowish tint right here, and the bunny looks a little bit more orange. This here though, the HP paper, actually it looks a lot better. Let's compare it to when I printed with the HP sprocket using the HP paper. Yeah, you can tell a difference. The bunny is white, by the way. I can tell a difference, like, um, don't know how to describe it but this one here actually looks more natural and this one here looks a little bit brighter but this one looks better it actually looks better using the canon iv with the hp paper and i kind of like that i already have like a lot of hp paper that i opened so that is really good I really like this one. I think I found my combination that I'm going to use. Because uh, this one here looks closer to the original. And now using this HP paper, I can definitely tell a difference in this. And you can too by these blues on my couch. This one here looks more like my couch. And this one is kind of uh, brightened up warmer looking but this here looks more natural and then with the canon paper you can see 
this here doesn't look as bright on that corner. Yeah, this here looks better. I really like the way it looks. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this. Um, I am going to keep the ivy just because I like the way it looks compared to the sprocket. I like the color, the mint. I like how thin it is compared to it. it might be a little bit bigger like this way, but I like the way it looks and stuff. And it's pretty simple. The app is really simple to use. But the only thing is I like with the app, I really like the... Uh, the HP edits that you can do because you can add little I can show you from where I had the sprocket you can add little uh, decorations like the little flowers up there and then like me and my cat like the smiley face this is all taken with the sprocket by the way it's me and my cat me and my niece using different filters. So these aren't bad. I mean, you could go with the sprocket if you wanted to. These are different filters. These is, the only reason why I didn't use these is because different filters and stuff. It's my husband and my daughter. All right. But yeah, these, these all look really good and they're with the sprocket. But I think with this here, this combination with the Ivy and the HP paper, I think I'm going to get really good results. I think it's going to look really good. Not too overpowering with the brightness. They look sharp and it looks more like it should. Just the green doesn't look as green. So I can go back here to the original. See? I mean, obviously, this is a phone display, so it's not going to be spot on. But this is the HP paper with the ivy. So it still has a little bit of a warmer tint. And then this here is the, the Canon paper. See, none of them really are going to be exactly like the original. But this one here is pretty close to it with the blues and stuff like that. Not too bad. All right, well, that is it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, just let me know down in the comments section. Um, here's another one that I printed out with a filter. You can see the bunny looks a lot more wider. So it also depends on your filters, but those that I did first that I showed you in these videos, this that was no filter. So. Um, if you have any questions or comments, let me know again down in the description box um, or comment section. And that's it for today. Um, this is the Canon IV paper, basically, so you'll know what the packaging looks like. And then the HP, I don't think I have that. Yeah, I don't think I have that box anymore. I threw it away. But, I mean, it obviously will say on the box. I really like this though. I really like it. And this here, by the way, I got for the sprocket, but I'm gonna keep the ivy in it. It'll fit. It's got a little spot there for photos or paper. And this will just fit right down in there and enough room for the cord too on either side. So I like that. That way I'll keep it nice and neat. Alright, hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know um, if you would like to see more video reviews. I do want to do another one um, about printers, like portable printers and stuff. Uh, so look, you know, look, be on the lookout for that one too. And I'll see y'all later.